Uh, my name is Michael Berry, uh, civilian background, started off uh, at flight instructing and uh, did some part 135 at King Airs and did some regional airline flying. Uh, left aviation for a little bit, but had to come back and now I'm uh, flying part 91 uh, on the G500 and the G280. And um, I helped bring in this program to our department. We feel it's integral to learning um, how to safely recover from unusual attitudes. Do I think uh, academic preparation alone will help uh, pilots be prepared for real world upset? Uh, no, I don't. Um, there's there's so much to learn from doing it actually in the aircraft and getting the G-forces and, and real feel. Simulator only training uh, to effectively train pilots to recover from real world unusual attitudes. Uh, I wouldn't say effectively. Uh, it could prepare them somewhat, but um, it's always better to feel the real G-forces and, and see how uh, it, it it can be disorienting uh, actually in the airplane, regardless of whether it's VFR or uh, you know, night IMC. Uh, the simulator just doesn't do justice to what it really feels like. My last two departments have been uh, heavily involved in safety aspects of, of our operation, and I've always been a proponent of, of uh, in-aircraft training. Um, what I would like to add is while the initial experience and the extra lays down the basic groundwork for uh, the recovery process, um, there's nothing like going up to altitude, um, you know, 30,000 feet where the aircraft just acts different. It doesn't act like the simulator. It doesn't uh, do justice to the G-forces and you're really surprised at actually how much maneuverability you still have um, at altitude versus what we normally get in the simulator.